morning guys last night we got the mattress and it is comfortable it's definitely a lot larger than I thought it literally fits back here perfectly but then up front it has these two extra like feet of space but the way it folds up it kind of makes like a nice backrest so I can kind of just chill here like this so it's really not bad it's actually extremely comfortable it came with a, a nice like zipper sheet that fits over it um, obviously that area where the desk is gonna be that's gonna have to kind of fold up over the wood but I don't think I even care you know like I've been doing a lot of thinking and you know I just want everything to be really simple and easy to do if I'm being honest like at first I had these really complicated ideas like even now the window coverings I'm honestly thinking about taking someone's advice that said to not even do the reflectix to just put velcro up here and here and here and um, have a the same material that I use for the curtains have that same material and just have it so it's attached to velcro up here and rolls up but when I want to have it privacy I can unroll it and stick it to that velcro and then whenever I'm done just re-roll it back up I'm honestly thinking about doing it I, I, I don't think it would I don't think it would look as good but at the same time I just know myself and I know it's gonna take me a long time to do it so I, I might just go ahead and do those curtains they might be a little more challenging over here but yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do one thing I probably will accomplish today is I'll probably go to Walmart and get some kind of cheap blanket because honestly like I just need a big comfy blanket back here now like it's so comfortable back here even if you're not gonna live in your vehicle if you got an SUV do this man like just do it imagine not having to pay for hotel rooms anymore like you don't have to live in your vehicle for it to be you don't have to live in your vehicle to get use out of the back of this area like I wouldn't want to pay for a hotel so I didn't film it but I fixed the gas struts I don't know if I mentioned it before but the gas struts were not on the vehicle when I first got it so I just put the gas struts on there so now I can lift the lift gate so that's nice yep I just rolled into Walmart and got this blanket for seven dollars seven bucks like yeah you know I think it's just like a good time to talk about just like perception you know because like I've always been a pretty materialistic person like I don't mind spending some money on clothes you know what I mean I like to buy you know the new technology stuff like that you know I've always really kind of been a little materialistic, but, you know, the older I get, the more I realize it just, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? It just, it really doesn't matter, like, I don't care, I don't care anymore, like, I would prefer to buy this $7 blanket opposed to, like, the $50 Better Home and Gardens blanket, you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter if it has a cool logo on it, like, it's still doing something for me you know what I mean it's kind of like you know the other night I was with some people that you know they have a good amount of money and we were talking about what I was doing and I was explaining that I bought this vehicle for three thousand dollars and you know it has a hundred and seventy nine thousand miles on it and they were just like oh no that's that's not good that's not good and I'm like well I mean it's just perception really because in my view, it's a $3,000 vehicle. Like, I don't have a lot of stress. If anything happens to this vehicle, I'm really not gonna be that stressed. Also, like, this is a unibody vehicle. Like, this is a really reliable vehicle, and you, they usually go for a lot higher than 200,000 miles, you know? But it's just perception and um, knowledge, really. Like, just a lot of people just don't have a lot of knowledge about things and about how to take care of things. Everything's become so disposable. It's been a few days, I was sick for a few days, spent some time with my kids, and now I'm just kind of getting back to it. 
spent a couple days uh, out here in the rig just figuring out really what I want to do. I did figure out that I want to add some kind of lap desk. So like I had this box and I had my laptop on top of said box and it's actually really comfortable. Um, so I think I'm going to do that and then make it so I can slide it in where the back of the bed ends and where the door ends. It could slide in there perfectly and it wouldn't take up very much space. Priority right now is curtains in these windows um, because, yeah, privacy is pretty bad. I, I know people can see me back here. Um, the other day I got this fan. And it's actually super nice. It's got three settings for speed. It's actually pretty windy. And then it has three LED light settings. So this is super cool, hangs right here. One question I do have is if my window tent is legal in the state of Ohio or not. <clears throat> I don't really know much about tent. Um, obviously the driver's side windows all messed up anyway, so I've been thinking about removing the front window tent. I really question if this tent is legal and that kind of makes me a little uncomfortable. If you've never tried one of these sumo oranges, definitely try it. I guess that brings me to a question I know some people have, is like, how am I eating? Um, I mainly am eating raw fruits and vegetables, and then like nuts, pistachios, stuff like that. Um, if I do go out, which I try not to go out, I'll get like grilled chicken tacos that's that's literally what I get a lot and I try to avoid everything else because like I am trying to lose weight um, you know can I cook in here for sure like you see the people with the two the two burners and the one burners I, I, I guess my thing is like I don't really want to cook in here or even outside of here because then you're still transporting cooking equipment into this living space and I don't really want those smells and stuff in here if you know what I'm saying 